Example number one, you want to circle polyatomic ions and balance them as if they were a bundle. For example, NO3 is nitrate. And so I'm going to circle it and note that there are three nitrates on the reactant side. On the right side, here's nitrate, NO3, and notice it has no parentheses, so we only have one nitrate on the product side. On the left, we have SO4, which is sulfate, and there's only one sulfate on the left. As opposed to on the right-hand side, the product side, we have sulfate, but since it's in parentheses with a three, there are three sulfates on the right side. So now we'll balance the coefficients. We have one iron on the left, two irons on the right. So to fix it, I'll put a coefficient of two here. Now we have two irons on the left, two irons on the right. We're gonna multiply two times three equals six nitrates on the left. And on the right, we only have one nitrate. So a coefficient of six would give me six times one is six nitrates on the right. Now, copper, there are two coppers on the left, but six coppers on the right. So we wanna fix that. If I put a coefficient of three here, I would get three times two is six coppers on the left, six coppers on the right. Finally, we have three times one is three sulfates on the left. And here we have three sulfates on the right. So now this is balanced. Final check, two irons, two irons, two times three is six nitrates, six times one is six nitrates, three times two is six coppers, six coppers, and then three times one is three sulfates, and this is three sulfates. Example number two is an acid-base reaction. And we know this because there's a hydroxide and a hydrogen that yields water on the right-hand side. So in order to balance a reaction like this, we wanna change the water to HOH or hydrogen hydroxide before balancing. So over here, I'm gonna change H2O to HOH or hydrogen hydroxide. Now let's note our polyatomic ions on the left, we have hydroxide, and on the right, we have hydroxide. On the left, we have PO4, which is phosphate, and there's only one phosphate here. And on the right, we have phosphate, and there's a subscript of two next to that phosphate. So now let's balance the coefficients. We have one magnesium on the left, three magnesiums on the right, so we need a three here. This is gonna be three times two is six hydroxides on the left-hand side. And over here, I only have one hydroxide. So a coefficient of six will make this six hydroxides on the right. Then we have three hydrogens on the left, and here we have six hydrogens on the right. So to fix it, I'll put a two here, and that gives me two times three is six hydrogens to go with these six hydrogens. Finally, two times one is two phosphates, and here we have two phosphates. So final check, three magnesium, three magnesium, three times two is six hydroxide, six hydroxide, two times three is six hydrogen, six hydrogen, and two times one is two phosphates, two phosphates. Also note that in this reaction, we have six hydroxides plus six hydrogens, and they yield six waters. That's gonna always be the case in various acid-base reactions. Another example would be you might have three hydroxides and three hydrogens, which means they should make three waters. Or if you see two hydroxides plus two hydrogens, they should yield two waters. So it just depends, but at the end of a balancing, you'll tend to see this kind of a pattern with the hydroxides, the hydrogens, and the waters. Be technical, hydroxides all carry a negative one and the hydrogens carry a positive one.